In this problem, we're going to stack a bunch of dollar bills and see how thick they are. We have how thick one dollar bill is. It's very, very thin. 1980 doesn't matter in this problem because it's just the year the uh, U.S. debt was about 925 billion. Uh, and we want to know how tall is this stack of one dollar bills to the nearest mile. There's a couple things we have to be careful about. There's inches and miles, so we need to first of all think about the unit conversions. So inches to miles, we're going to need these conversions. Uh, I know inches to feet and feet to miles. So I want to we want to get rid of inches. So we're going to turn inches to feet. We have 12 inches and one foot. And we want to do this conversion factor because inches will cancel. And now we want to cancel feet. And how we're going to do that, we need feet on the bottom, mile on the top, 5280. All right, so this is how we're going to go from uh, feet to, or inches to miles. Now feet are going to cancel. And what we have left. We have one mile uh, divided by, now it's just 12 times 5280. So that's what we're going to multiply at the very end, and this turns inches into miles. Okay, one mile, and I probably shouldn't have crossed out inches at the beginning, uh, although it does cancel here. Uh, but if you don't have units, I'm just multiplying these two together. Uh, we're going to be one mile per this many inches. Of course, you could multiply by these two, and it has the same effect as multiplying by this. So that's just how to convert units. We'll do that the very last step. So US dollar bill is that many inches thick. So we have 0 0.0043 inches, supposed to be an H, inches, and we have a lot of dollar bills, 925 billion of these. All right, so how much is, how many zeros in a billion? That would be 925,000, 925 million, 925 billion. All right, so that's one, one dollar bill thickness in inches times this many dollar bills. So this will be the total height in inches. And now last of, we need to uh, divide by this right here. Okay. All right, first of all, let's talk about what your calculator is going to do. Uh, the first thing it's going to do, well, I'll write out the whole thing, then, then I'll show you what your calculator is going to do. So we're dividing by 12 and by 5280. Uh, we originally had inches, and when we multiply, uh, I've already slipped the numbers in there, so let's go ahead, inches, uh, and we're going to get mile when we multiply these units in. And of course we do this because the inches are going to cancel the inches. Okay. You can multiply these uh, two numbers and then divide by those two numbers on a calculator. That's not terribly interesting. What I want to do is show you what's going to happen on most calculators. So anytime there's a really big or really small number, uh, you, what you're going to see is uh, scientific notation, and if you put the decimal place here, you'd have to move it over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 times, which is like multiplying by 10 11 times, or by multiplying 10 to the 11th power. Again, that'll move the decimal place over 11 times. And sometimes your calculator is going to show 
uh, the notation I'll use is either a little e or maybe a big E. And what you'll see after that is the number of times to move the decimal point over. So this one will look like E11, which would mean your answer, you're going to move this 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And that's your new decimal point position. And these are all filled in with zeros. So that's how to go from scientific notation back to the expanded form. The answer is going to be big. It's not going to be quite as big as this, but it's still going to have lots of zeros at the end. And so you're most likely going to see scientific notation. And you need to enter on your homework the actual expanded number like that. All right, again, I did not multiply these, so you need to use a calculator. Multiply those two and then divide by 12 and divide by 5280. So you're still going to need to do that, but this is how to go from scientific notation to regular expanded form.